Yeah. Yeah. So All we right. can do that? Well, that's what you want us to do? Yes. All right, on this test, I, that was so great. And I just messed everything up. But thank you, Edward, for helping me out. All right, so these are your five rules that you need to have in your, te in your notebook. Besides the rules from the first test and the second test. Okay? Oh, my goodness. So, we need to know alternating interior angles. We need to know alternating exterior angles. We need to know corresponding angles. We need to know same side interior are supplementary. Whereas, if they're parallel, these are, con these are congruent or the same. These are supplementary, so they add to be 180. So uh, same side exterior is also uh, uh, supplementary. Uh, a couple things that you might have forgotten. Linear pair, you know, two that add up to be 180 degrees. Uh, adjacent, just two, two, two angles that are next to each other. And vertical, they're across from each other. Vertical are congruent also. This is huge. This needs to be on your, on your cheat sheet. Okay? Um, to understand, when you have two lines, whether they're parallel or not, they're always cut by, as Lamont told us, a transversal. Okay? And then, if they go to both sides, we call that alternating. If they stay on one side, we call that same side. Right? In here, the green... Is going to be the interior. So inside the two lines is the interior. Outside the two lines, right? Outside the two lines is the exterior. Okay? It's like a football field. The interior, right, is where you play. The exterior is where you bench. Okay? Very simple. All right? All right, so... um. Which angles are corresponding? That's what they're asking us. Okay? So they give us A, B, C, and D. And I want to tell you, there's always an E so that the people in uh, watching the film know that on my test, there are three possibilities. One answer, two answers, and no answer. If there's no answer, then you have to create your own answer. Okay? So it's like a write-in. All right? So just don't get upset that there's not an answer. Don't get upset that two of them could be an answer. Just know that, you know, you could have two, you could have one, you could have none. If there's none, write it in. Okay? What this is, is getting you ready for that state test. Because sometimes they're going to ask you to answer more than one. Sometimes they're going to um, have you fill in the blank. Okay? So I'm just kind of throwing everything at you. All right. So on their A was 1 and 5. Their B was 2 and 8. Their C was 7 and 5. And their D was 2 and 3. Okay. So what we want to look at is, first of all, is A. 1 and 5. So we look at 5 and we look at 1. And what are those? They're, are they on the same side or are they, are they uh, uh, alternating? So if we look at this line, are they on the same side? Yeah. So we know they're same side. So we know they're either this or they're this. Okay? So are they both exterior? Or are they both interior? Or are they one of each? One of each? Okay? So that means if they're same side, interior, exterior, what do we call that? Same side, interior, exterior. It's called people. Wake up. It's first period. I know you're you're tired, but come on. 
I was written on the board. Same side. Interior, exterior. It is called. Corresponding. Yes. Corresponding. So we know that 1 and 5 are corresponding. Okay? All right. 2 and 8. So we're going to take a look at 2 and 8. Okay? What are 2 and 8? Are they alternating? No. Is Are they both inside? Wait, why is it 2 and 8 on here? It says 2 and 6. Oops, my bad. Did it say two and six? I got two and eight. I have two Mine says two and eight. I have two and six. All right. Well, we gotta get to a different one. Are you looking at last week's little quiz? I don't know. Quiz? Me, I don't know. That's the little quiz. We gotta get you. A, I'll get some more. Okay. Okay. You need to here. You need a practice test. That's the little quiz. Can I use this? All right. So it's two and eight, and uh, I want I want to really uh, focus on this because two and eight are they both interior? Are they both inside? They look like corresponding, right? Because one's inside, one's outside. But what's the problem with calling them corresponding? They cannot be adjacent. Are they adjacent? Are these adjacent? Are they next to each other? Yeah, so they are not corresponding. What are these called? And this goes back to your original chapter one. They create a line, right? So what do we call that when they create a line? Linear pair. Okay, they're a linear pair. So these two are not corresponding. They are a linear pair. And that is a trick question. You will see something like that on a, on a state test. I guarantee you. Okay? So even though they fit that rule of same side interior exterior, they cannot be adjacent. None of these are adjacent. Okay? None of these are adjacent. Okay? So you have to know that. Alright. 7 and 5. Look at another color. Seven and five. So we're looking at seven and five, right? Okay, so are they on the same side? Yeah. Yes. Are they both inside? Yeah. Are they both outside? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so they are the same side exterior. Are they adjacent? Are they next to each other? No. Okay, good. All right, so same side exterior. All right? So would same side exterior be uh, congruent? Oh, well, it only matters if these are parallel, though, right? So, and these aren't parallel, so we're good. we won't talk about congruent and, and all that. We just want to label them. All right, so these are same... So let's write it out, sorry. Same side exterior. All right, let's go with two and three. So two and three, that's this guy, right? And this guy. Do those alternate or are they on the same side? <coughs> Alternate. So they go from here to here, right? You go from one side to the other side. Okay? So they alternate. Are they both inside or are they both outside? Inside. Inside? Okay? They're both inside in the green, right? Okay? So they are alternating.
interior angles. Okay? Alright. And so, therefore, the only one that is the correct answer would be A. <coughs> Does that make sense? And that's number one.